All right, you guys, I'm Tommy Thayer, and I'm in KISS, and you might have guessed that by seeing me right now. But uh, we're going to talk a little bit, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the new Tommy Thayer Epiphone Spaceman Signature Les Paul. I've always dreamed about having a signature guitar. Um, back to the days when I would go to the music store where, when I was growing up in Portland, Oregon, I'd see the Les Pauls and, and the guitars on the wall, and I, uh, you know, I dreamed about having a Les Paul, and I never would have ultimately dreamed of having my own signature guitar. So. As I've been in KISS now for over 10 years, uh, it's got to the point where in the last few years I, I've seriously thought about having my own signature guitar. It was really something I wanted to do and something I wanted to put together. So uh, the other thing I had in mind was obviously I, I'm a Gibson player first and foremost, but I wanted to do a guitar that was really affordable and because uh, a lot of KISS fans buy the guitars and uh, you know, all types of musicians want to buy it and sometimes the, the Gibson custom shop guitars get a little expensive so I thought you know what I think Epiphone would be a great idea actually. So I set out to uh, see if I could do an Epiphone and I got in touch with Jim Rosenberg the president of Epiphone Guitars and I talked to him a little bit and, and we decided together that we'd do a Tommy Thayer signature Spaceman Les Paul on Epiphone. And so I just started working directly with Jim over the course of several months planning. Uh, I wanted to do a guitar just like my silver top uh, Les Paul standard. And so Jim thought it was really important to uh, use all the same exact specs of, of the silver top standard that I have. And right down to the very pickups and, and the tuners and everything. So we really replicated it, it exactly. So I worked with Jim and we put it together and right down to the very last detail, you know, he told me that it was really important to have the exact tuners and even the, uh, the bridge pickup cover is removed. That's the style I always do. It's kind of a Jimmy Page thing actually. And uh, so he said that's even important to do that. That way, remove the, the rear pickup cover so that it's really just exactly like my uh, silver top standard that I've been using for years with KISS. So that's how it all came to, together to begin with. Well, you know, I think uh, a great guitar is really a combination of both looks and functionality. Uh, you know, the aesthetic, the way a guitar looks is so important, and you know, especially for what we do, because you know, the imagery and the, the way something looks on stage, you can't just use any guitar, and it has to look like a Kiss guitar in a lot of ways, and that's where the silver sparkle thing came into it. But of course, on the other hand, it has to be a great guitar that when you take it out of the box, like I do when I play these things on stage, it sounds amazing. It's crunchy, it's loud, it's, it's balls to the wall, just like any other guitar I play. And as a matter of fact, as we speak, Michael Berger, my illustrious hey guitar tech, has handed me, uh, this is the Tommy Thayer Spaceman Epiphone Les Paul. Um, this is actually the one I've been playing on stage. I use it every night on stage for several songs. And literally, we pulled it right out of the box. Michael. Uh, check the intonation, you know, just tweaked a couple little things, but it's really just, you're good to go. So, you know, I wanted to have an instrument that was affordable, but was also an instrument that any musician can walk into the music store and go, that's cool. I want to play that one on stage tonight and, and it's ready to go. And this thing, you know, really compares to all my other standards, my Gibson standards. It's right there and, and uh, you know, it performs just like any other. So, yeah, a combination of the aesthetic and the performance of the guitar makes all the difference. Well, you know, I have an array of Les Pauls with me on the road. Uh, they're mainly sunbursts. Uh, I have Silvertop, uh, my Epiphone. Uh, I also have a Gibson Explorer, which is kind of for special. I don't pull it out every show, but occasionally I pull out this Explorer, and it's it's actually got a silver sparkle top too. So it looks great, sounds amazing. But I'm basically a Les Paul guy. I always have been for you know, the 30, 35 years I've been playing guitar. Actually, I've been playing guitar probably almost 40 years, so. But I've always played Les Pauls, and uh, it's always been my, my guitar. Being in Kiss is never boring. I, you know, I think if you got on stage with, even though you look great, but I think if you got on stage like that, that gets boring after a while. You know, this is the ultimate performance, the ultimate uh, theatrical, over-the-top rock and roll band. It has been for 40 years, that's why Kiss continues, and. New fans come out and they get turned on to it and they, they just love the look, they love the makeup, they love the bombast, they love the, 
explosive show that we do. And of course we use great guitars and great instruments too. And uh, that makes a lot of difference, particularly the way it sounds and uh, the way it looks. So, no, it never gets boring. You know, I really feel I'm honored to be in, in you know, one of the, uh, if not the, uh, the most outrageous, greatest rock and roll bands of all time. No question about it.